Hello you guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to crochet a little dog sweater. I have my little model Georgie over here, let me bring him Georgie. Here's Georgie and this is the little sweater I'm gonna show you how to crochet. They're just very comfortable for your little pet, for your little dogs and sometimes you have a rare shaped dog I suppose because it's really difficult for me to find sweaters for him because he's really long and he's really skinny so it makes it difficult to find him. So I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this little dog sweater and as you can tell by the time of the video it's a long video so maybe you can just watch it in sections and little by little just get tips for creating a little or yeah for crocheting a little sweater for your little dog at home and it just keeps him nice and warm during the winter. So let's get started with this crochet dog sweater tutorial. What you're gonna need to create the little doggy sweater is a yarn. I'm gonna be using two different colors but you basically just need one. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors and you're also gonna need a crochet hook. I have my little model Georgie here and what I want to do is I want to measure under his front legs. So I've pre-cut a piece of, uh, of yarn. I'm gonna slip it under his front legs and I'm gonna just measure around. And I wanna make sure that it's comfortable enough to put your fingers through so it won't be so tight and it also won't be so loose. So I'm gonna place my finger there, remove the yarn, get my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut. And this is as wide as I know his little sweater's gonna have to be. I have the pre-measured yarn here that I'm gonna be using and I know that's how wide around Georgie's sweater is going to have to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the main source of yarn and I'm going to get my crochet hook and let me zoom this a little bit closer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hook, rotate it around making sure it's nice and hooked. With my other hand that I'm holding the hook I'm going to hold this little piece. It won't be for the whole time but just for this little while and I'm going to start a chain. So I'm going to place this around my crochet hook and bring it in through the little loop I've created and I'm just going to continue doing this as long as I have the sample I took from Georgie. So I'm just going to keep going doing this until I get to that size. My braid is as long as the sample I took from Georgie so I won't need this anymore. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the end of my little braid right there and this is the other end. I'm going to hook it around, hold it and then I'm going to come to the first piece of braid. I'm going to put my hook in through the first one like that and this one, these two that are laying over here, I'm going to wrap them around and basically do the same thing. I'm going to put them in between the three hooks and that was supposed to go easier but <laughs> that's what I've done there. So now what I'm going to start to do, I'm going to wrap it around again and begin putting it in between each little piece of braid and maybe I have to go a little bit closer. Let me show you guys a little bit closer. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to hook it around like this, get the little piece of braid, put it in between, bring it in with the hook, in between the little loop, and there you see three. I'm going to hook it up again and put the one I just hooked in between the three. So I'm going to continue doing that all around. I've already gone all the way around. What I'm going to do now is just start a new line. So I'm just hooking it in, wrapping it around, bringing it in the first little loop, bringing that in, and there you see the three again. I'm going to wrap it around and bring it in. And I'm just going to continue doing this all around this new line that I'm creating. I ended up doing 10 rows. This is as long as it is from Georgie's two front legs to the middle of his waist. Now I'm going to begin working on the little tail. So this is where I left off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my crochet hook and all I'm going to do is backwards it. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to go, I already have the last loop I ended in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loop it around and hook it one more time. I'm going to twist the sweater and begin working on the little tail. 
So I'm just going to start doing the same exact thing. Looping it, hooking in the first one, and there's the three, wrapping it around, and I'm just going to start that new line. But it's not going to keep going around, as you can see there. It's not going to keep going around. I reversed it, and I'm going to start going backwards, halfway. I'm going to go backwards around this much, about this far, and then I'm going to go back and here, go back and here, and I'm going to continue doing about five rows of that. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a trim color, and the trim color I'm going to be using is this one right here. But if you're just going to be using one color, then you could just finish it to the size of your dog. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring out this color. I'm going to get the scissors to the blue one I used here. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to bring in the new color. So I'm just getting the two. I'm going to loop them around my finger and bring them both in through the little loop. You guys can hear Kiko making all that noise. Okay, so there, then I'm going to have the two little pieces. I'm just going to press them together as tight as I can and on this way as well. Tighten them out like that. So I'll just cut the excess and there I've joined the two threads together. So what I'm going to do here is where we're going to be adding this new color and I'm going to do a two, a double there. I'm going to flip the sweater around and I'm just going to start the trim in this new color. So this is going to be the last row I'll be making. Just going to go all around. Once I hook up this last one, I'm going to make it pretty long. I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut up to that area. So here we have what we're going to be tying it up and finishing it off. I'm going to loop this part in like that. And just for a little bit extra security, I'm putting this in just so I could um, bring this out through this side and then I'm just going to make a little knot. Just a regular little knot of two or three. And that's the bottom little part of the sweater with the little different tones of blue trim. Now that we're done with the bottom part, it's time to calculate where you're going to want the little front legs to go in through. We're going to be working on that area. So I'm going to start over in the, the outer area where I'm going to want to place it. I'm going to get my uh, multicolored blue tone yarn. I'm going to be placing my yarn over in this area. I'm going to get my little hook so it can help me hook it through like that and these two little areas I'm just gonna hook them in like that so it'll be nice and secure and I'm gonna have two little areas to uh, work the chain with for a little bit so I'm gonna get my hook I'm gonna bring it in I'm gonna loop the yarns together I'm gonna wrap them around and begin a new chain this chain is gonna be of 20 once your little chain is done what you're gonna do over in this bottom area, I like to wrap it around one time around your little hook and you're going to come to the second little hole, place it in there and just bring it out and there you see the three again, wrap it around and hook it in and we're just going to keep going straight, doing the same exact thing until we reach the other area where we're going to want to place the other front little leg. Now that I've reached that area, what I'm going to do is another chain as long as the other one, which is a chain of 20. So I'm just going to start going upwards instead of sideways. So I've finished off the little chain of 20. What I'm going to do is the same thing I did on the other side. I'm going to loop it around my hook. I'm going to come to the little sweater. I'm going to skip the one where I began the little chain. I'm going to go to the next one. Go in between with my hook, bring out the yarn, and there's the three. Wrap it around, 
and bring it in. And from here, I'm just gonna continue going all the way around the little sweater. Now I've come around all the way to where I made the first little leg chain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wrap it around my hook. I'm gonna come to the first little loop of the chain, put my hook in, bring in through the loop the yarn. There's the three again. Wrap it around and bring it in. And I'm just gonna continue doing this to our chain of 20 loops. Once I get to the end part of the little um, leg area, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue doing the same thing. I'm gonna wrap it around, bring it down to the loop, and just continue doing that till I get to the other little part where I'm gonna have to do the other little front leg area. Now I've gotten to the other little loop for the front leg, so I'm gonna do the same exact thing, wrap it around, find the first little hole of the little chain, stick my um, hook through there, bring in the strand of thread, there's the three, wrap it around, and just hook it in. And I'm gonna continue doing that to this area of 20 little loops. I've already gone all the way around twice, so the little area where the little legs are gonna go in through already have the two rows. What I'm gonna do here is it's too wide, so I'm gonna have to start tightening it up with each uh, little row we make. So what I'm gonna do here is it's the end of the second row in the little leg area. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap this around and I'm gonna go in through two holes instead of one. So I'm gonna do one, bring it in, two. So I'm going into two, so now I have four rows, and I'm gonna hook it in, and just all of them put them into one. So this entire row, I'm gonna be doing um, this. So I'm gonna be doing the four, then the next one, I'm just gonna be doing one, normally with the three. I'm bringing it in. The next one, I'm gonna be doing two. So I'm gonna go in once, twice. There I have four, wrapping it around, bringing it in. The next one's gonna be one. The next one's gonna be two. I'm gonna go in Once you two. get to the little leg openings, what we're gonna do is one, two, one, two, one, two. We're not gonna be alternating between two and one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop it around, go in one, two, bring it in. There you see the four. Wrap it in and bring it in. We're gonna do the same thing to both the little front leg openings where it won't be alternating just one, two on each one of them. Once you come to the end area where you were doubling, you're gonna come to the back area again. And we're gonna start alternating again. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start with one, two, then one, one, two, then one. So the first one would be two, so we're gonna wrap it around one, two. There you see the four, you're gonna wrap it around, bring it in, and for the next one, it would just be one. There's the three, bring it in. The next one would be two, one, two. There you have the four, bring it in. The next one, one, and we're gonna continue that pattern. Once you get to the little front leg area, again, we're gonna stop alternating and they're automatically gonna be of two. So we're gonna do two and loop them in. And we'll be doing this to both the little front leg openings. In between the two little front legs, we're just going to do the alternating. So we're gonna do the one, two, bring it in, the next one will be a one. And we'll continue this pattern until we get to the other little leg opening. Now we're in the back area again, so I'm gonna start the one, and the one, two. One, one, two, one. And as we're doing this, uh, it's becoming tighter and tighter for the neck area. That's what we want. 
well, we don't want the neck area to be too tight, but we, it had to start getting smaller and smaller, and that's how we're gonna achieve that. So we're on one, two, so now this one's a one. And once we get to the last little arm area, this is when you begin to check whether it's already tight enough for your dog's neck. You don't want it to be too tight, whether it's big enough for your dog's neck. This is still too big for Georgie. So I'm gonna have to go around doing the same thing again and just over the little arm area, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a normal, I'm just gonna do a normal uh, row. So it's just gonna be a one on each one. As you can see, I'm coming in towards the neck and it's becoming smaller and smaller. What I'm gonna do with this row is I'm gonna do two singles and one double. So I'm gonna do a single, another single, and one double. So it's gonna be a single, a single, and the next one will be one, two, a double. So I'm just gonna do this all around. Once you see that it's the exact size you want around your dog's neck, you can stop there and just continue doing a single all around until it's long enough. I'm done doing the little neck area, so what I'm gonna do to finish it off is the same thing I did to the bottom of the little sweater. So I'm gonna clip it off in that area. I'm gonna get the loop, bring it in through the loop, and tighten it. And what I like to do just so it could be extra, extra safety so it won't fall apart, and I've never had none of their little sweaters fall apart, I'm gonna make three knots. And just, I'm gonna fold the little sweater area part, the little top area, turtleneck area, and there you have the little turtleneck area. See, I'm gonna come to the bottom it, part of the sweater. I'm gonna get my hook, and I'm gonna hook this in so I can start again. And this is just the last part, so I'm gonna tighten it. Once you have your two strands of yarn, you're gonna get your hook, bring it in through the little hole, and hook the two little yarns, and bring them in nice and loosely so that you can um, place the other two little yarns in between like that. So what we're gonna do is just begin going around the little arm area and tightening it up. So I'm gonna go in through here, bring it in, and we're going to go into one, two, the one, two mode again, and bring them all together. And I'm gonna continue doing one, two all around the little leg area. Once you get to the last little loop, we're gonna do the same thing. Get the scissors, cut off that piece, and we have the two little last ones. I'm gonna loop it in between and pull. Okay. And you see how that just made it a little bit tighter, and this looks really cute when they're running around. That little sort of like ruffle, it just looks really cute, especially on if you have a little uh, dolly running around a little girl so I'm gonna come in between here and I'm gonna try and make or not try I'm gonna make a knot so I'm gonna make the three knots here 